Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. Got here a game called uh, Visions by Adam Michael Billiard. Visions Software Factory presents. All right, what have we here? We have something that looks a little bit like Boulder Dash, maybe a little bit like Mr. Do. Dig Dug. Whoop! <laughs> don't, don't, don't sit under an anvil. <laughs> I guess that maybe should have been. <laughs> I was expecting that I could maybe drop it on the the bird, but I guess sitting underneath it is uh, perhaps not ideal. Oh, it didn't get the bird. Interesting. So what's the point of the anvils? Block passageways. Kill yourself. Okay. What? Can I shoot? Oh, okay, Mr. Do time. Yeah, all right, very much. Oh, I just get one. No. Yeah, very much Mr. Do. Oh, so you can't shoot again right away. Also similar in some ways to Mr. Do. Can I, can I tell when I might be able to shoot again? No. <laughs> what, what the hell are you supposed to do here? Get all the birds, but you can't shoot them. Anvils don't do anything. There's the ball. One. Can't shoot. Can't shoot. Can't shoot. Oh, I'm white colored. Oh, I see. All right. So when your when your character turns white, you can shoot again. All right. That's good. Does it take longer each time, or is it based on something else? Oh, there's also possibly a sound effect there. Oh, did the, does the ball home in on the birds? That's interesting if that's what it does. Let's find out. No, that was just luck, I guess. Come on, bird. Let's go. So the graphics are good. Nicely animated uh, player character here, although he looks like he's climbing up and down, which is a bit of an odd perspective there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I guess if, you, if he's climbing up and down in a cave, I suppose. I'm not quite sure about what the anvils are meant to be for. Blocking passages, maybe. Music. Oh, that's not what I was after. Game over. Level two. All right. Well, in my defense, I was figuring it out. So, here we go. So at the moment, the birds are just moving along slowly. sure what causes the refresh of the character's ability to shoot. Oh, do you also have to get all of the glowing ball things, maybe, to clear a level? That's kind of what it looks like. Whoops. there's any bonus for doing that. Can you shoot through a wall? Oh, you can. Just like Mr. Do. Alright, so lots of Mr. Do inspiration here, for sure. wonder if that's planned or if that's just a side effect. Or un 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 unanticipated. Yeah, it's probably planned. That was very much a thing in Mr. Do. I think that was actually missing in the Atari 8-bit version of Mr. Do. Did the bird push the anvil? I'm gonna, I might have to go back and watch that to figure out what happened there <laughs> later. Unless I, unless I see it again. Alright, so that didn't work. Let's try this. Gotcha, Mr. Bird. I do like the uh, game. The music seems to only play for so long, which is probably not a bad thing. 
bluebirds now, so we've changed some color palettes. Oh, I did get a bird. Well, oh, okay. I'm a little confused. Maybe that was just maybe the maybe the collision detection is a little wonky. The first time I dropped an anvil on a bird, it didn't do anything. And one more bird, and five, six more. Dots. Is that it? That's it. Level three is mine. Give me my shots. Give me my shot. Thank you. So if you get all the birds, oh here they come faster now. If you get all the birds. Okay, well that's good to know. So if you get all the birds, can you run around clearing the, uh, getting, picking up the items at your leisure? Get that bird you shot. There we go. So there doesn't seem to be anything in getting these things sequentially, especially as now they're separated. As where, as mis whereas in Mr. Do, you had the option, or there was a, you get a bonus for picking up all the objects in a group, sequentially. Some nice layouts here with the tunnels, I guess, that get dug. Whoa, 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 whoa. Darn it. What did that say? 2,000? That's not bad. My birds. Come on, then. birds in one go. I don't know if I'm gonna manage that or not. Half a dot. Half a dot remaining. You do seem to get a bonus for picking up all of the dots in a grouping though. Maybe. Maybe not. That, he must have pushed that. So the birds can push the anvils. So you probably don't. So a little bit of pingo there in a way. I wonder if I wonder if I can push anvils. Let's find out. Uh, oh no! But he can push it over me, the bird. Why am I saying he? Probably a female bird, most likely. Come on then. Oh, I missed him. Oh. Missed her, missed him, missed it. Game over. Gosh. Well, you know what? This isn't. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. It's not super challenging, but it's there's enough variety here that. And uh, what am I trying to say? I guess I'm trying to say that I kind of like it. It's. Pretty good. So there's enough dynamics with the enemies that uh, you have to watch out for and pay attention to, and um, you know, graphics and sound are good. Sound effects are basic, but but serviceable. And uh, not annoying, which is often an issue with these uh, 8-bit games. Back at me. All right. Let's go climb down. Dig, dig and climb. Dig and climb. Dig and climb. Dig and climb and shoot. Dig and climb and shoot. So if I just wait, we'll see if it's a timed thing. Yep, it's a timed thing. Ah. Also, like dig, dug. Where you're positioned in the tunnel will matter. So there's another. Uh, the way, in, in terms of the way the ball bounces, so you, there you can see it wasn't bouncing at all in the in the uh, sort of diagonal section of the tunnel there, whereas earlier it was. So 
depends a little bit on where you're positioned. It's going to come back. Yep. So, you know, because the bird's not actually coming after me here, it's not super challenging. You can just sit here and pick it off, pick them off. And now I can... Now there's no baddies, so I guess just go around and clean up the items in the level. No time limit or anything. So, I guess a little... A little more chill, perhaps. I'm gonna look at it that way. Oops, no fire. Now, because they're not moving, oh, I guess they maybe picked up speed a little bit. You come after me, Mr. Bird? Yes, you are. Good. Not sure why sometimes you seem to uh, get a bonus for the fruit. Maybe that's when you do pick them all up consecutively, similar to Mr. Do. Let's see here. Yeah, that would seem to be confirm that theory. How can I do that on this? I don't think I can on this grouping. Uh, 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 uh. I guess I can ponder it for a while, can't I? I don't think there's any way to get that in one, one single path. Oh, but then I got all of them. Hmm, is it if you don't eat another, if you don't eat some soil before getting the, re the last object, perhaps? That might be it. In which case, these ones are not possible to do that. Ah. Kind of trying to turn around and shoot him, but I didn't. I don't think I had room. But solid, you know, the graphics are. Oh, didn't come after me. Hmm. The graphics are good, you know, there's no. There's nothing flickering going on here. Colors are well utilized. All right, that does it for that guy. Oop, don't get stuck. So now I just go around and mop up these pellets. Let's call them pellets. Diamonds. We'll call them diamonds. Why not? We're sort of in a mining environment. Let's call them diamonds. Level five. I think this was where I lost it in my last game. So, I can actually sit here, I think, and try and pick the birds off without any fear of them getting me. So that's alright. A little bit of a game mechanic that you have to be paying some attention to figure out. Alright, Mr. Bird, let's have ya. So here, these ones you can't do in one go, but right, looks like if you clean it up without actually getting any dirt blocks in between, you get a 500 bonus points, so that's kind of nice. Another thing that rewards you for paying some attention. Are they going? Are they faster than me? Yes, they are. Oh, I got two. I'm gonna say two. Maybe not. They're blocked by the anvil in that direction. You actually get points for digging. That's interesting. Fifth, was that an extra man? There was a little dinging noise when I crossed the 10,000 point.
threshold. I'm not sure if that was at fifth, if that was the first time that's happened. Oh, so we've seen this layout before. So I guess the is there more birds now? That's why things have slowed down. I don't know. Five. I was firing 100%, so all the birds come back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, yeah, six. Ooh, didn't want to fire very badly. So now that anvil is blocking the passage, so I think I can come out here and try to pick the birds off. Might be a little bit of an exploit, I guess. I don't know. Oh, ho, 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 or not. <laughs> so much for that theory. Uh, you birds. You birds. You crazy birds. Let's see. How can I... Maybe I can sit here and pick them off. Yeah, they definitely push anvils around, which is kind of cool. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, come on. Okay, so that's a little bit problematic. I pushed fire about three times there. And nothing happened. Even though I was lit up in my you-have-the-ability-to-fire-white uniform. <clears throat> All right, Adam Michael Billiard. That's a pretty good game. Pretty good game. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be about all I have to say on the subject of Henri. Now, I'm saying it in that form because of the I at the end. I'm assuming it's French, but maybe not. It could be Henry. Don't know. Don't know. Anyway, if you made it this far, or even if you didn't make it this far, I appreciate your watching. Thanks very much. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.